Good afternoon, everyone. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, thank you for being here for my first presentation of the week. And I really hope that you walk away from this presentation with five practical, tactical yet practical ways to integrate these two tools and make collaboration really shine across both streams. Um, my name is Amy Dolzine. I am a Microsoft MVP for Office Applications and Services. And I also work for Ernst & Young, where I'm a manager in uh, one of our advisory practices that focuses on deploying Microsoft. And so um, again, thank you, for, thank you for coming. I hope to have some time at the end for some questions. And let's get started. All right, so five practical, tactical ways you can integrate these things. Number one, let's say you're a corporate communications person. I have been that person in my past life where I've had to organize a major company event where we've got the CEO giving a talk and you've got a whole team of people, there's always a team of people who is behind that making that happen there. They've built the slides, they've got the camera going, they've, um, you know, they've got everybody working behind the scenes to make this happen. Well, let's say you're doing a live event like that and people are using the Yammer functionality in that live event to ask questions. Well, what if you need a chance to kind of talk amongst yourselves before you want to respond to whatever that question is? Maybe it's a touchy subject, or maybe you really need to run some things through legal, who knows, before you respond. You can integrate these two tools to do that. You can do that by using a tab. So here I have the Leadership Engagement Yammer group in a tab. And so when the conversations come in, I can reply here with this person said, hey, you know, what's this? I can reply and I can respond in teams amongst ourselves, just our private group of people that's talking, and then go back out to Yammer to respond. Let's say you're running a tagging campaign of some kind. Maybe you want to track all the Yammer wins in your network. Or also, maybe you want to track all of the team's wins in your, in your network. There were people are hashtagging on their Yammer posts. That was a great response, Yammer win. Or I had this experience in Teams. Here's, an, here's a great success story of a hashtag team's win. You can also track that in your Microsoft team with a tab. So I can, this is across the top of a team. This is a tab in that team with that where I'm tracking the hashtag teams win, or I can go to another tab where I'm tracking the hashtag Yammer win, or anything that you'd like. Another reason that you might want to integrate these two teams, these two different scenarios, is let's say you've got a, a large organization and you have a Yammer group that the whole organization is a part of or, or needs to know about, it's sort of a public facing, this is what we're doing, and your small team of people manages that Yammer group. You are the, the voice of that. You're the ones that post the how-to messages or the links to the documents that people need. If your team is managing that Yammer community, in the past, I used to use a private Yammer group to have with the same name where I had a private Yammer group and a public Yammer group, and it got a little bit confusing. Now you can use Microsoft Teams to talk amongst yourselves about what's going on in this Yammer group and uh, really connect the two, the two across the streams. So in this same way, you can create a Yammer tab again in one of your channels. So if this is the team and this is the channel that I have, I have a tab with the whole Yammer community is right there on that tab. Perhaps you run large company events. In this example at Ernst & Young, we have a Super Friday event once every couple of years where the entire advisory community across the Americas gets together in about 70 different locations around the, around the Americas. And we post pictures from our event and key learnings and documents and presentations from Super Friday. Um, the team always tries to set up a Super Friday group community, or maybe they, they ask everybody to post all their posts 
in the special other Yammer community they've set up. Not everybody remembers to do that, but because of the hashtag reminders on the tables, people do post pictures with the hashtag Super Friday. So let's say you want to do that. You want to track that. Again, you can use a tab to track that Super Friday hashtag. And now all the posts that come in, uh, where you, you can see, I've, I've, sorry, I've, I can't show you the people, but <laughs> these are their pictures and what, what they're posting. Um, and you can get all of that right there in that tab. So another thing that you might want to do um, is let's say you're rolling out a big organizational change, or there's a big change coming to the technology that you use. Um, when you are trying to respond to user questions across a, a large organization, that can get a little bit challenging. If they don't always post. Um, in the, they don't always post they, in the right group that you want them to. They don't always use the hashtag you want them to. Um, but you can use a, a combination of a Yammer connector and a tab to make this a little bit easier to manage. This is a bit meta, but um, if, if your organization is going to roll out organizational-wide teams, perhaps you want to have a yam jam about that to tell people about this change that's coming. So you create a Yammer group, a Yammer community about that yam jam, and ask every, you invite everybody to go to it, and et cetera, et cetera. And event, inevitably, somebody is going to ask, you know, isn't there an org? org-wide teams yam jam going on, and they're going to put that in the all company because people forget. They don't know where to post. They didn't know it was there. So you can, um, you can use a uh, connector and a tab together to do that, and I'll show you that in just a moment. So you might be saying, hey, Amy, that's all great. How would you do that? Connectors are a really easy thing to implement. It's, it's a few clicks in a team to make these things happen. So first of all, on your teams, you can mouse. There's three dots. I'm sorry this is over that. But there's three dots. When you click on that, you get to this connectors button. Click on connectors. This configure box will come up. So you, could, you click configure Yammer or whatever you're using. In my case, I'm connecting Yammer. So we're going to configure that Yammer one. Um, and then in that connector, uh, you can say, I get, want to get notifications for all messages. You could also say just new conversations uh, or just announcements that happen. You can, um, by user, by keyword, so in this case, I'm tracking the Yammer win keyword. And I want every post to come in, deliver individual messages as the posts arrive. You could also just do it a, a daily kind of collection of all of those if you wanted to do that instead. This is my code slide. I'm kidding. I don't know anything about code. I can just use all these things to make things <laughs> work for me. Um, again, so this is, a con this is um, the tab. So I'm gonna, sorry, I'm going to make that smaller again. Add a tab or two to your Microsoft team. When you go to collect, create a tab in Microsoft Teams, Click on the Yammer square, which probably has a new icon by now. Uh, click on the Yammer square, and this will come up. And you can create a tab that on a Yammer topic. I'm choosing Yammer win, and I'm going to create a tab for the Yammer win hashtag. In the case of that organizational wide Yam Jam, where people are posting in multiple places and you want them all to be connected, you can use tabs and connectors together. So up here, I'm showing this is a Microsoft team. There's the tab with the Microsoft Teams or uh, org-wide Teams Yam Jam uh, listed in the tab. And so over there, you can see I started that, that conversation over there. Here's an all-company post where I've use the word org-wide teams. I created a connector um, for the hashtag or, um, org-wide teams. I also have another connector, which, not, which is not showing, the, about um, the word org-wide teams. So looking for the, both the, the hashtag key keyword or just the, those words together. And those will come into my team as a, through a connector as a different post. And I just have one more uh, life hack for you. Um, 
Let's say you are a corporate communications person or just anybody, and you want to track maybe some leaders and what they're posting in Yammer or a collection of people that you'd like to track what they're posting. You can use that same connector in either a private team or a team you set up for yourself. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm not saying anybody's ever done that, but I have created a private team for myself for my own organizational um, for myself to, to keep track of things. I can, um, I've created a posts for leaders connector here, and I, it says I've connected, created a connector to a Yammer group so members will be notified for if this person, that person, and that person, if they ever post, I will get a notification in my team that they have done that. And it's just a great way for me to uh, keep track of the, if I'm trying to track leader engagement in Yammer, or I'm trying to um, just stay connected with what particular people are saying, that's one extra little life hack that you can use. And those were my five reasons to integrate Yammer into Microsoft Teams. It's a really quick, tactical, practical trip down, uh, down these, these ideas. I'd be interested in any of your questions, or I'd be interested to hear if you have any creative ideas that you'd like to share with everyone in the, uh, in the audience. No questions? Oh, yes, I'm sorry, I missed you, yes. I mentioned hashtags. I'm sorry, what? Yes, I'm tracking hashtags. No, Microsoft Teams does not at present use hashtags. I was tracking the hashtag that's posted in Yammer in Microsoft Teams. So that, because I, I tend to treat Yammer as more of a organizational wide or pu more public facing application where I'm trying to track a bunch of people's responses or a, a, if anybody is posting with that hashtag. I, I want to, and I might want to do that in a private space so that I could say, hey everybody, this campaign that we're running around Yammer Win or this campaign that we're running around Super Friday, look at all the posts that we're getting and give everybody on that small team of people who's tracking that a place to see where all of those are being, are, are, are shown. And then they can go right out to Yammer to look at them as well. It's just a way to kind of connect the streams. Anybody else? Okay, well, um, I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something or maybe were inspired to keep these two tools connected. They are better together. Uh, they will help you connect across the streams. And um, please find me at any time throughout the conference to chat. I'd be happy to, to learn what you're doing and, and provide any other best practices that I can help you with. So thank you.